Okay guys, first week we did the uh, closed guard Kimura. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our hands and we're gonna mold them to their forearms like so. And we're going to swim and control and follow their wrists outward. But we can't just do this with our arms. We need to do this with our legs and arms simultaneously. So what we're going to do is we're going to swim underneath. We're going to lift up with our knees and pull in an arcing motion, but not towards our head because we don't want them to headbutt us and we need to make an angle right off the bat. So we're going to pull to one side or the other. So here we go. I pull to the opposite side of where the attack is and I immediately control the wrist, posting my elbow on the floor so that he can't get his arm back. The hole in my grip is up, which is the direction I want his arm to go. My free arm comes over the shoulder, through the hole, and I collect my own wrist. The hand goes behind the back. I look, I scoot everything up, so it goes shoulder, shoulder, elbow, and head, all in a line. And now what I do is I don't push his hand. What I do is I look and I try to pull this elbow straight to the floor, just like so, getting my finish. So, one more time. We swim underneath and knee pull to the opposite side of the arm that we're attacking, immediately controlling the wrist. Grip, arm comes through the hole, we grab our own wrist. The hand goes behind the back and we line everything up, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, and head all in a line. We look the direction that we're going in and I pull my elbow to the floor getting my finish.